Okay, yo, what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I'm sorry if I do sound sick because I am sick. I think I have a fever or cold. I'm not really too sure, but I just don't feel the best right now. And that's why this video is going to be really quick, really short. I'm going to try to get to the point as fast as possible and just make it very brief. So first things first, obviously you guys clicked on this video because you guys want to know how to get Yeezys for retail, especially the zebra colorway. As you guys may know, it is restocking on June 24th. It has been confirmed now officially. So you guys do have a second chance to get these shoes. And congrats to you guys that didn't pay resale because the resale was like around $1,500. And luckily enough, they are restocking. So you guys do have a chance to get them at retail again. If not, the resale price will go down. So you guys will have a chance to buy them at a cheaper price, regardless of the fact if you get them at retail or not. Let me tell you guys real quick how to get the Yeezy Zebras at retail. So usually how I get my shoes, I get them through either Foot Locker, Foot Action, or Champs. And usually I get lucky on all three if the release is a lot like more general. So I guess it's a bigger release, like just more quantity. And usually if it's a little release, then I usually get lucky only on Champs and Foot Locker because Champs and Foot Locker, there's so many around here. And Foot Action, there really isn't many. There's actually a lot less locations. So that being said, there's a more limited quantity for Foot Actions. So this is just a matter of luck, but nowadays more people are catching on. So I figured I might as well just tell you guys how to do this because a lot of people are catching on and it's a matter of luck. It's just like a raffle system. So, and it's the, easy, it's the simplest raffle system there is right now. It's the easiest way to get Yeezys, which is how I got all the pairs up there. At least that's how I got all the V2s, all the V1s I paid resale for. What you want to do is right now, since it is Wednesday, you do have, I think, when is June 21st? The release is June 21st, so I'm assuming it's next Saturday. If I'm not mistaken, or June 24th, I don't know why I said June 21st. But yeah, June 24th is next Saturday. So that means that on Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs app, the sneakers will go live to be reserved on June 19th, which is on Monday. So right now, you can do as you're watching this video. Hopefully, you guys watch this video soon enough. You guys gotta spend $300 at each of those stores. I'm not saying, don't make it, make sure you buy stuff you're not gonna keep, but make sure they're big quantities because you don't wanna, because you're gonna have to return these items. And let me explain exactly how. You're gonna have to buy these items. You're gonna have to buy like let's say let's just say you buy two pairs of shoes at each store. That's you're probably gonna spend around four hundred dollars, maybe three hundred dollars, and then a little bit of change, three hundred fifty. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you spend over three hundred dollars, and this is without tax. Like don't make make sure like don't spend two ninety and let the tax come up to like three hundred because then that won't count. You need to spend three hundred dollars at each store. You guys gotta make an account with each of those stores on the apps. So basically, when you download the app, you need to create an account and then. You're all set. You're gonna have your account number. And when you buy those shoes, make sure that they scan your code on your phone. So that means that those points, basically those rewards, they go to your account. And when you spend $300 at each of those stores, you do get a VIP for each of those stores. Like they're not all called VIP. I think Foot Action is called Gold Star Club, but for now, let's just call them VIP. So let's say you already spent $300 at each store. So that means all, you, all your points should go to your account and it should show up within three days. And then in those, within three days, you will see on your VIP account, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. You will see on your account that it says that you're a VIP. And I'll show you guys. Here you see it says Platinum VIP on top. Yeah, that's that means I'm a VIP. And I'll show you guys as well for champs. I think it might say Platinum VIP as well, yeah. It has to say Platinum VIP. I think normally it's just gonna say VIP. And that's not what you want. You want it to say Platinum VIP. And let me show you now foot, foot action. I'm pretty sure I'm still a VIP here. Yeah, it says Gold Star Club member. I think normally you start off at VIP and then you go to Gold Star Club. But you see right here, that's what you want to say. You want to make sure you do that. And then when Monday comes around, you got to make sure it says that. Because if it doesn't, then you're not going to get the head start that you need to. And basically the way this works is the head start does give you the advantage, of course, because you reserve your pairs earlier than the rest of the people. I've seen people reserve pairs without having the head start. I don't know how. It's probably just a matter of luck. But I just I say you go ahead and just get that head start and just to be safe. And, I'm, and if you guys listen to me, that's how I got all my pairs. Like... I'm just saying, if you guys want your pair of zebras, just listen to me and you'll most likely get your pairs. I'm not guaranteeing you guys will get a pair, but I'm raising your chances for sure. All right, so let's say now you're checking in on Monday, you're you're putting your reservation in, your size, your locations. Make sure you know your locations, like make sure you know your mo more popular locations. Like for me in Broward, I could actually reserve a shoe down in Aventura Mall, which is very smart because Aventura for me, I've heard they had a bigger quantity, a larger quantity than most other stores, especially the ones locally around me, like Sawgrass Mall and Broward Mall. So I usually put Aventura Mall for a store. And if I, if I win there, I don't mind driving down there for a pair of Yeezys. Like after all, I'm gonna have a pair of at least $100 shoes. I don't know how much they're gonna go, be worth after, maybe like 700, 800. But at least I'm gonna have a pair of, I'm gonna have a pair of Yeezys for just driving maybe what, probably an hour of traffic down there. So yeah. I don't, I don't mind making the drive down there. So make sure you know your stores as well. It helps a little bit, I guess. I'm not exactly too sure, but 
I'm pretty sure it does raise your chances if you choose a store that has a larger quantity. But then again, Miami is super like populated, so a lot of people do probably put that store as a reservation spot. Okay, so after you reserved your pair, you're gonna see that you basically get like, I think a three minute head start. I don't know how much the head starts are nowadays, but you do get a head start for just res reserving your spot, and then you do get a head start for being a uh, gold, pla a, pla a VIP, let's say a VIP. You do get a head start for being a VIP, and then your third head start is, you have to physically go to the store in one of those three locations that you chose and just check in. Go next to the register and check in. If it doesn't work, ask an employee, and that employee will help you out to give you a code, and then you're checked in, and you should have a 10 minute head start. If you have a 10 minute head start, I can guarantee your chances will be raised significantly like compared to if you had like no head start or you only had like a three minute head start it's just your your chances are gonna be raised a lot if you have a 10 minute head start i think the only time i ever felt the 10 minute head start was only at foot actions because foot actions like i said they have a lower quantity there's less stores so i just i don't always win on that one but i on champs and full locker i think for the most part i've always won and after you have your 10 minute head start all you gotta do is wait until friday at 6 p.m or 6 30 i don't know exact time but they t that's when you like you find out if you got your pair and if you got your pair, awesome. Go ahead and reserve it. Make sure you have three hours to reserve it, but you wanna be there six o'clock, 6.30. Set your alarm so you don't forget because some people do forget and then that shoe can go to somebody else. So make sure you set your alarm, put your whatever code they tell you to put in and your shirt, your shoe is reserved to be picked up the next day on Saturday. And there you go, you have a pair of zebras. That's if you succeed. And after you succeed, you basically have $900 spent or $900 or more spent on a pair of shoes or shoes that you don't want or don't need or if you want, you can keep these shoes. If you if you don't, then you can go ahead and return them. You have 30 days to return a shoe and you're all good. Your money will go back to your account and you're all set. But remember this, if you return those items, those that money that you spent gets taken away from your account. So you wanna make sure that you always have over $300 spent in the store. So your Yeezys cost you 220, right? Therefore you wanna spend 80 to $90 more in that store, but probably just buy clothing and just maybe, maybe buy an outfit for, for your Yeezys and then you'll have $300 spent and your account will be you'll always have that VIP and that lasts up to a year. So basically that's my workaround to get Yeezys guys. Uh, I'm sorry for being like sounding so boring and so dead. I'm just, like I said, I'm sick. I don't, I didn't ever really have like the same enthusiasm I usually do, but hopefully tomorrow or the day after I'll have a lot more like enthusiasm. I'll feel better. I really hope I do. I've been taking medicine all day. So let's hope I do feel better. Another quick ways to get shoes. Make sure you know your boutiques around you. Make sure you ask your friends what boutiques are all around me because usually boutiques do get Yeezys. And also go check out soullinks.com, soullinks.com, S-O-L-E-L-I-N-K-S.com. Go check out their website and then click on the Zebra V2. I'm pretty sure it's already up there. Click on it and it'll give you a whole list of stores that are releasing the shoes and also a bunch of raffles. A lot of stores do Instagram raffles, which obviously if you, you, you miss 100% of the chances you don't take. So if you don't join those raffles, you're definitely not gonna get them. If you join them, you do at least have a chance. I don't know what percentage it is because I don't know how many people are joining them but make sure just go ahead and join them. You never know, you might be hit up by the by the store. You might get that one DM and you might just get a pair of Yeezys. You never know. Do your research on what other stores can actually get you Yeezys, especially the Zebras like we're speaking of right now. If you guys wanna know a whole store list, I'm pretty sure, I haven't really checked recently, but I'm pretty sure he does this every release. The company's called Swift Cop and if you go to their website, it is swiftcop.com. You will see there's a sneaker Bible and then next to that, I'm pretty sure there is a list of all the stores getting Yeezys. I think, you can, I think those are only like what, 20 bucks, 10 bucks. I'm not too sure, it's pretty cheap. You can go ahead and buy that. It'll give you a whole store list. And if you want, try using my code. It is rsneakers. That might help. I'm not sure if it works for that. I know my code works for the sneaker Bible, which it is like, it's a Bible to help you cop Yeezys. It's just to know everything about the sneaker game. If you wanna go ahead and buy that, if you're like getting into the sneaker game and wanna go ahead and buy that, go ahead. It will help you out tremendously. It will help you understand pretty much anything. It goes in depth and you get free updates. You get to enter a chat room with a bunch of other sneaker heads and you guys can talk about all kinds of sneaker things, release dates, hype, and all this stuff. Go ahead and check it out. And like I said, if you want, use my code, rsneakers, you do get a discount. Anyways, guys, that being said, this video did turn out a little longer than I thought, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to, I don't know, I don't really have a goal right now. I mean, I should, but right now I'm just, oh man. I, I really want to get back to 10K at least. I want to say 10K by the time I leave to FSU, or when I, by the time I leave to Peru, which would be August 8th. So if we can get 10K by then, I know, it sounds it sounds like a lot to it sounds like a lot to put on your guys' plate because or even on my plate because the channel just started I have 176 subscribers but I feel like if I find those fans that I lost before like from the old channel which I did have like around 25,000 I feel like I can gain you guys back pretty quick especially by putting out dope content like this so go ahead and help me out guys share this video with your friends make sure you send it to them make sure they they know how to get easy don't be selfish like honestly don't keep these don't don't keep tricks and rules to yourself don't be selfish like I said don't be greedy like. 
that don't, that doesn't get you anywhere in life, first of all. And second of all, just do a good deed and help others out. Especially if the shoes are like something they really want. Go ahead and help them out. Show this video with them. Or, or just tell them about it. It doesn't matter. Anyways, guys, before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Xerthius. Bro, thank you for showing love. Thank you for actually supporting me, bro. I see you. I know you, you were like one of the first people to subscribe to me. And that means a lot. It shows that you're a true supporter. And I really do appreciate that, bro. So keep keep showing that love, man. I really do appreciate that. And hope to meet you one day because you seem like a super cool dude. I mean, only through the comments that I met you. But, I mean, I really just, I want to meet all you one day. It would mean a lot. I know I, I, know I sound so dumb because I have such a small fan base right now. But... If you guys knew where I was before, it would actually... I'm just speaking like I still have the same amount of subscribers. I don't care. I don't care if you guys rank on me. If I have 176 subscribers, 177, whatever I do, whatever amount of subscribers I have, I'm still going to treat this channel as if it were the same size they were before. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. Well. Our secret side out.